Hey everyone, this is Steve with the Milson Perspective, and today we are going to talk about my chest rig system. Okay, so let's dive right in. Uh, the base chest rig is a Mayflower Gen 5, uh, which is kind of their more reconnaissance based chest rig. It uh, comes with these inserts so that I can run M4, uh, Stan Ags, uh, this one is for AK Mags, and then this one is for the shorter 20 round 308 Mags. Uh, this was core to my decision to purchase this chest rig uh, because obviously it enables me to run the three main kinds of rifles that are most popular. Additionally, it has it is a Swift Clip compatible. It's a little bit wider than a regular plate carrier, but it can still clip to a chest or to a plate carrier. And then I can integrate. I can wear it either with the included uh, nice little H harness or with a uh, backpack like this uh, Haley. Uh, flat pack plus, which is what it's usually attached to for a non uh, armored patrol load. Typically, this has a source 3 liter bladder in it, and then I can expand to be an overnight bag as necessary. So, I was having a discussion with a buddy of mine about why uh, this is a good, I feel, this is an excellent compromise. Uh, as far as load carry systems go for multiple applications, whether it's uh, dismounted patrolling, mounted ops, and then uh, of course with the capability of, of scaling up or down with armor, backpacks, integrating your ruck, so on and so forth. Uh, the ability to do these things all in the field, on the fly, as missions change, is extremely critical to me. So, one of the first things, I'll kind of work my way through the system and show the mod modifications I've made and um, and go from there. So this is the way that the, the inserts come. They've got the bungee tops and uh, they velcro in place into these larger orifices. And then the uh, M4 M16 ones do not have a, anything underneath, but they have more around the side because the smaller magazine and this has nothing on the side and allow it to open up, be wider, and then it's got a sling to capture the bottom of the magazine. So the first thing, one of the first modifications I made was I immediately cut off the bungee and put uh, Kydex inserts in there. So what I had to do to accomplish that was I had to sew Velcro to the inside of the uh, magazine compartments so that the uh, velcro on the outside of the kydex could set the depth. So when I eventually do that upgrade for the AK and 308 magazines, I'll just cut the little slings off and let the kydex insert uh, set the depth. So another nice thing that this came with is uh, just a zipper top for one of the magazine compartments. So you pull out your mag inserts and you just put this on. Uh, this is great for either uh, filling up linked, like belted link ammunition, if you're carrying extra ammo for a belted weapon, or if you're uh, wanting to carry just more general purpose items and less ammunition, then this makes a nice, great size GP pouch. And I put it on my left side because I'm left handed. That retains my two magazines here. And then I've got one in my belt, one in the rifle, so that's still a total of four magazines. 120 rounds gives me plenty of ammo for a, a non-combat related mission. So, enough about that. Um, now I'm going to kind of split this part. As you can see, there's a zipper down the middle, which is critical. One of the critical things I needed was the capability to go flat on my stomach when I'm prone for long periods of time. If I'm in a defensive position, so on and so forth, I've got, I can't be laying... Uh, on all this stuff. It's super uncomfortable and it gets me high up off the ground. Uh, that's why I wear my armor slick so that if I, even if I'm wearing armor I'm only an inch taller than normal. So um, I'll go ahead and split
split this part and we can go through the, the sections individually. Okay, so first up is the section on my left as I wear it, your right as you look at me. Uh, so the center zip is on your left side, and then on your right side is the buckles that would attach to a pack or, or what have you. Um, so one of, the, one of the modifications I made is this is a IFAC slash radio pouch or general purpose, whatever, whatever you want. The Chester comes with this medical module, which fits in the pouch slightly snugly, hence why I'm not going to just pull it in and out. Um, modified the insert by adding a nice big pole for when things are slippery and uh, made it very obvious that this is a medical mo module by adding red duct tape to the pole handle so it sits in there like so and this actually hangs out of the pouch about like that so I do have some red exposed so people can tell where my medical stuff is also on the side I've got my shears and tourniquet um, this is just a cheap Chinese pouch uh, just because it was the most simple and effective design that I found it's starting to come apart a little bit after some heavy field use but uh, it's in a low wear location so I'm hoping it'll last now what I did do is I sewed this directly to the side of the medical pouch it comes with just a molly attachment which I found to be very floppy and it put this pouch way down here uh, which was not okay so I just sewed that directly on, made it a lot uh, a lot less floppy, which is the whole point of having pre-attached pouches in the first place. You, uh, you have less material, aka less weight, less things that can soak up water, and uh, it rides higher and closer to your body, which is important for uh, movement, as we all know, because we don't want it to be floppy and, and uh, loud and obnoxious. So the nice thing about these pouches, you've obviously got couple lines of molly down here if you want to add a grenade pouch like a lot of the uh, LBT um, chest rigs have. I like that, that I'm not dedicated to having something there because I typically don't put anything there. Um, this flap, has, there's retention velcro for the flap inside and on the back so I can put it wherever I want. Uh, I believe it was intended to go inside but I can roll it and put it behind. Additionally, um, I keep a chem light holder here, something I don't see a lot of places, but something that I've ran into over time is that uh, I crack the chem light for signaling purposes. I use it, and then you can't just drop it in a pocket because even if it's a very small, weak chem light under an odds, it will be seen through fabric. So, this fixes that if I need to have my chem light out, I can do what I need to do with it, and then, or I can just use it in the, in the uh, holder and have directional, you can see that chem light there, inside I can have directional signaling with that, and on the flip side of the carrier it has um, a very small hole for even more discrete signaling. So that rides in there, uh, one of my signaling devices and uh, this tube prevents me from being seen under nods. Um, okay, on to this main kind of general purpose pouch. I keep my, my maps. This notebook goes in my pocket, but I stage it here. Um, but I keep my maps and SOI and cam cream in this. Um, I've got, you'll notice several places on uh, almost, all, almost every Velcro pouch has uh, some female velcro attached on the inside so that it's less loud. Um, future modifications hopefully will include either a uh, Alice Mag pouch type clip or a, uh, because they're quieter than a fast X buckle, and, and or um, a couple magnets. Because I frequently am opening this to check my map or check my SOI if, not, if I'm a, an RTO. And uh, I hate the amount of noise that it creates, even with the reduced surface area of the Velcro. Uh, over here is pistol mag pouch. I do not carry a pistol mag on my battle rattle. This is where my multi-tool is. It is not lanyard -ed -ed. Um, And that's on purpose because I frequently have to hand it to somebody else. And so 
I'm taking a risk there. But it is what it is. Also, there's, I noticed, so here we have a nice pull, nice pull, no pull. So, again, to both to minimize the Velcro noise and give myself a, a little pull, I've got some female Velcro on there. Uh, so we've got our cut X insert for the magazines, as we've talked about before. And then I wanted to have some more general purpose storage, so I put in a plate carrier uh, insert, the type that you'd see, kind of like a kangaroo pouch. And in here, I keep my emergency food and my spare batteries. Let's see if I have anything else in there. Nope. Nope. So two protein bars, an entree and spare batteries. So snacks, emergency food, I was keeping an entree on me as a backup and then a battery carrier for, as a two of size. Two, nope, it's got three double, three triple A's, two CR123's and four double A's. And it's very quiet, that one doesn't rattle. All right, so that is that half and I'll go on to the other half. Okay, before we delve right into the right half of your left, I want to talk about the center area. So I've uh, made my own zipper pole here. The one that comes with it is okay. I just wanted something a little beefier so that it's easy to grab when I'm gloved up and tired and it's 3 in the morning. Um, additionally, a really neat feature of this chest rig I did not think of. Uh, it has a G-hook that attaches to the other side as a backup either for if in case your zipper blows out or if you end up putting on a puffy jacket or something that's going to increase your girth you can easily um, adjust the size of the chest rig without having to mess with all the buckles if you've got the actual adjustments taped down so that is excellent one thing that I would really like to add is put another little piece of webbing right here so I can put my Grimlock in that. I've tried to put it in this and it doesn't fit. Um, really like my Grimlock here so that I can hang my gloves off of it. I try to keep my entire patrol load together, uh, even when it's hanging on my cot tree, uh, because that way it's just less things to, to forget when you're stepping off. So I, I typically have my helmet, uh, patrol load all put together, and my belt kit all put together, and when it's time to go, I literally just put my belt on, toss on my patrol load, helmet, rifle, walk out the door. So uh, there's no other items to forget, which is important. So spot for Grimlock will be coming. Um, you might ask why I don't have it over here. And that's because this is where the g hook stores away. I don't know, I want to interfere with that. And then uh, this is unfortunately also too small. So, uh, my right side, your left side of the chest rig as you look at me. So up here on the top, I've got my Ranger beads. Uh, this is actually a secondary reason that I would like a little uh, loop on the other half is for the Grimlock and to hang these off of. Currently they hang behind the chest rig when I'm not using them, which is nice, but when I am using them, they lay right across my reloads. Um, so my belt pouch, uh, the, the mag on my belt is my fast, fastest reload, easiest to get to because I'm usually conserving my magazines and putting them in a dump pouch and so that reload is located right next to my dump pouch. So, but this is my next one and then here. So it just makes me feel not happy. So I'm going to fix it. So right here underneath my super plus 10 morale patches, got my compass obviously lanyarded and uh, this is another pouch that I would really like to change out to a magnet closure or perhaps an Alice pack or Alice magazine pouch clip so over here on the side is another little too small for a mag pouch pistol mag pouch I'm not really sure uh, why it was originally sized that way again no pull tab so I made my own by covering up some of the Velcro, which actually needs to move a little bit. Um, typically, I keep a buzz saw in here, which if you don't know what that is, it is a chem light with uh, 
uh, about three or four feet of paracord attached to it so you can spin it um, in a circle either in front of you or above your head to attract the attention of a vehicle or aerial asset. Um, so that is another major part of my signaling kit. This, uh, just like the other side, is uh, either an IFAC or a radio pouch. Um, I use this, this is kind of my go-to general purpose pouch. So if I'm carrying a radio like a PRC 168, a larger radio, it'll go in here. Um, even smaller radios like Beo Fings, I shove them in there and then I'll put a separate battery pack in there to kind of take up the rest of the space. The, uh, if I do have a tall radio, there's a provision for a bungee closure. There's um, Velcro on the back for this to attach and it can it can hold it in and of course when you're not using it you just tuck the flap away and it velcros in place down there so uh, other applications that i use this pouch for is my nods if i'm not running any radios um, my nods typically typically go there if it's we're going to be out um, yes that's typically it nods radios uh, one thing i want to touch on with the swift clip system so this is one of the little swift clips that uh, that Mayflower sells. I got it with the chest rig so that I could put this on my plate carrier. And uh, one of the issues I found was that uh, when I was putting the stuff on, it's a lot easier to have it loose, but almost impossible to grab this tiny tab, especially with gloves on, is absolutely impossible. So I just added a little bit of a paracord dongle on there that way. I can uh, put the chest rig on loose and then cinch it up. A lot of the times, if I'm using this chest rig with a plate carrier, I'll take the cummerbund off the plate carrier if I'm not running any side armor. And uh, literally, these will this end will hook into the back plate bag, and this will hook into the chest rig, and it 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 works very well. Nice and stable. Um, so two other things with this is the of course, magazine pockets. Uh, one thing I didn't really touch on is this is definitely an area that I would like to decrease material uh, if I was going to build this again, or if I was going to build it or have a custom build done. Uh, there's just a lot in here, and I, I totally understand why that's not uh, downing Mayflower anyway, because uh, the amount of Velcro is necessary for the modularity that they wanted, and uh, and again, that's why I bought it. But in the future. Um, I will probably uh, at least try to find a way to to kind of get rid of that extra bulk. The last bit on this side is another uh, plate carrier insert, and this is a elastic three magazine insert, which works awesome. Uh, typically, I do put uh, if for some reason I need to upgun to three more mags, which would be. A total of seven on the rig, one on my belt, and one in the gun, so a total of nine. Uh, I can do that. Um, additionally, I'll, if I have my nods in here, I can tuck my a small radio in, into the side here, and that works very well as well. Of course, we've got the uh, retainers for antennas and, and wires of, of many sorts, uh, and then the shoulder straps both on my Hilly Strategic Pack and the ones on the H harness that came with this have retention for wires and tubes and antennas and such. So overall, I feel like this is a very good system, um, but of course, there's compromises everywhere. Um, very high quality. I've been, I've, I've beat the crap out of this, and it still asks for more. So you can see it's dirty. It's got a bunch of seed grass in it. And, and all kinds of things, but overall, I've been very impressed. Uh, this has definitely uh, performed to my expectations, if not better. My previous kit was uh, the ubiquitous Alice gear, and that's why I have a fairly large section on my website that is devoted to Alice gear modifications because mine was obviously heavily modified to be comfortable. So, this propelled me into the 21st century. Um, as it is, it's much easier to integrate with armor, vehicles, and, and things of that nature. So I hope you enjoy this. Uh, 
I probably missed some things, so feel free and comment, ask questions, so on and so forth. Um, be happy to answer, give any information I can. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, please like, subscribe. It uh, helps us out. And if you're seeing it on Facebook, please share it. And thank you for your time.